Hello students, in this video we have 9th illustration of chapter 7, alternating current. The question is, suppose the frequency of the source in previous example, that is 7.8 can be varied. What is the frequency of source at which resonance occurs? Calculate the impedance, the current and the power dissipated at the resonant condition. So, how do we find out uh, resonance frequency? Before that, let us uh, have a look at previous illustration first. So, in 7.8, we have a voltage source with maximum voltage 283 volt, frequency 50 hertz, resistance value 3 ohm, and inductance 25.48 milliampere, and capacitance to be. 796 microfarad. So for this values, if we are asked to find out resonance frequency, uh, let us try to apply the formula for resonance frequency. Here is the data from previous uh, previous illustration, and now uh, we know that uh, resonance at uh, resonance x n becomes equal to x c. So the circuit behaves purely like resistive circuit. Effect of uh, inductance, inductive reactance is negated by capacitive reactance. So the two becomes equal uh, magnitude wise and hence omega L is equal to 1 by omega C or we can say that omega square is 1 by LC and then omega is 1 by root LC. This is uh, resonance angular frequency. For resonance uh, frequency, you can take omega c to be 2 pi f, and then f c is 1 by 2 pi, 1 by root of c. So, this is the resonance frequency which we are asked to find out. Second thing is calculate impedance, current, power dissipated. At resonance. Now, impedance is uh, actually Z is equal to R plus J XL minus XC. But uh, at resonance, XL and XC both are equal. Hence, Z is equal to R at resonance. Okay? How do we find out uh, current? So we know that I RMS is V RMS by mod Z, but at resonance mod Z is R only. So V RMS by R. Do we have V RMS? No, we have maximum value of voltage. So what you will have to do is you can take Vm by root 2 into R. So that will give you current in the circuit at resonance. Power dissipated. Who dissipates power? Obviously, resistor. So, I RMS square into R. So, that is your fourth answer. So, substitute values, carry out calculations. Thank you.